Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Tilla van der Westhuizen. Today I would like to share with you my presentation on Kenaf. I work for the Agricultural Research Council Industrial Crops in Rustenburg, and my co workers on this project were Kwena Mokgolua, Johan de Bruin, Piet Maya, and Salko Nukubeni, and Lawrence Uwe. Now, per introduction, Kenaf, with the Latin name Hibiscus cannabinus, is a member of the Malvasia family and is related to cotton and okra. It is grown worldwide as an annual fiber crop. It grows quickly and can reach a height of 3.7 to 4.3 meter in a growing season of four to five months. Now the advantages of Kenoff fiber includes acceptable specific strength properties, carbon dioxide sequestration. Kenoff is one of the highest carbon dioxide absorption rates among plants three to nine times higher than average, and it's biodegradability. Kenoff products in photo one, building materials, photo two, plastic and resin products, and in photo three, heated and molded mat into door panel. More Kenoff products are door panels, seat bags, headliners, package trays, dashboards and interior ports. Now, Kenoff are used in the production of biocomposites, for example, in the automotive industry. And here, the 1996 Ford Mondeo featured interior panels made of Kenoff fiber. And Kenoff fibers are used to make parts in Mercedes-Benz E-Class and A200 cars. Now, besides car dashboards, Kenoff can also be used as a substitute for fiberglass and other synthetic fibers. In this table, he summarized the mechanical properties of cotton, flax, and Kenoff used in engineering composites. And here you can see that Kenoff should have a strength of 33 centinewton per text to be acceptable to be of acceptable quality for the production of biocomposites. Now, Kenoff stems need retting or degumming to enable fiber strands to be freed. Now, retting is the process that uses microorganisms and moisture on plant material to rot away cellular tissues and lignans that surrounds best fiber bundles to separate fibers from the stems. This is a picture photo of the retting fungus hyphal. And on the right hand side, you can see the separation between the Kenoff pest and core. What happens when retting takes place? When steeping stems under water, soluble carbohydrates, proteins, and minerals start leaching, and water becomes very rich in aerobic bacterial contents. This water together with bacteria enters the plant tissues through stomata, replacing the intercellular air. And at this stage, because of the fermentation of the soluble carbohydrates, organic acids are formed, pH decreases, and retting water becomes very low in oxygen content. Here's a photo on the left-hand side of Kenoff stems and on the right-hand side of Sanhenep stems. The C in e, each case stands for control. The E1, 2, 3, and 4 is the enzyme dosages. Enzyme dosage 100, 200, 300, 400, and 500 units of enzyme dose, dose. So here you can see with an increase in enzyme dosage that the, the fiber separates much easier from the stem than the lower dosages of enzymes. Now, there are different retting pro uh, methods. For example, biological retting, which includes dew retting, water and enzyme retting. Mechanical retting, where you use a decorticator. And also chemical retting, where you start with boiling the stalks in a 7% sodium hydroxide solution for an hour. This photo shows how 
uh, at the ALC at Rustenburg, we created a canal and submerged the, the kin of stems in the water. Now, there shouldn't be any kin of leaves in the water because that would um, slow down the retting process. It should only be stems. Now, harvesting should be done at first flower because late harvesting results in brittle fiber. Stems can be left in the field for a month for due retting. In Europe, kin of stems are left on the field to red for a month after the plants are killed by frost or after application of Roundup to stop growth. But in South Africa, climates differ drastically from that in Europe and harsh sunny conditions kills microorganisms needed to break up lignin. Factors affecting retting include pH, oxygen, temperature, water quality and enzyme dosage. So you can see retting is not an easy process. The past research that we have done um, at the ARCIC is to evaluate the effect of different retting mixtures on the quality of kin of fiber, cultivar research at five different localities in South Africa, nitrogen requirements of kin of, weed control in kin of, planting dates and spacing and density. Now, the aim of this investigation was to investigate six retting methods on six kin of cultivars. The cultivars included BG52, Cuba 108, Cubano, Everglade 71, T15, and Tining 1. And the retting methods included sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride, natural bacteria or, or dam water that we used, a urea mixture, water retting and dew retting. So for the results, yeah, I need to tell you that I did publish in the 2018 Plant and Soil Journal and in this research we have found the significant interaction in strengths of the cultivar cubana that was rated with the and the cultivar cubana that was rated with the urea rating treatment gave the strongest fibers as can be seen in this next graph on the x axis are the rating methods and on the y axis the fiber strength in centinewton per ticks and here you can see the interaction of cubana and urea rating gave a 43.8 centinewton per tick strength which is much stronger than the 33 centinewton per text that you need for acceptable biocomposite quality. So the conclusion I made is that progress has been made in selecting the best kin of cultivars with optimal fiber qualities that will produce yields, making production profitable to producers. And I would like to acknowledge CSIR and DUF for funding and all the research assistance for countless hours of measurements and the preparation of rated fiber samples. Thank you.